posts again from the ecom subreddit and somebody's wanting to know examples of the smoothest ecom checkouts on mobile and desktop so i've got a full few pulled up here that we can dig into while he's pulling those out i mean just some general thoughts there um you know, the first thing is the simpler the better um, but a lot of times adding some complexity to it actually works as well so uh, when you look at er the, the argument between multi-page and one-page checkout I come down on the the side that simpler is better most of the time that doesn't mean that multi-page checkout doesn't have its place and uh, in fact putting elements in there uh, can work better it all depends on the products so you really have to a B test it yeah. Blake show them some yeah some the things. first one I'm gonna pull up here is from Nomad uh, they do like well-designed Apple accessories, leather gear, charging cables, that sort of thing. And I'm going to go in and try to buy one of their Apple Watch straps. So I'm going to add this to my cart, and it really quickly pulls up at the top of the screen to proceed to checkout. And I can tap that and go right to the cart. And from there, they have a really beautiful kind of one-page checkout that they minimize their forms. So this is kind of really fantastic that the, the user is not overwhelmed when they land on this cart. They know exactly what they have to fill in. They can edit and update their cart right here. Uh, and then they have their choice between credit card or PayPal. So as you sort of fill in information, then the fields expand. But it looks a lot quicker and a lot easier. It's very streamlined from the start. And so while he's pulling up the second one, when you're talking about multi-page versus single page, what would be a use case for having a multi-page checkout? You know, subscription type stuff. Uh, a lot of times, that's hard to do on a on a single page. Um, upsell, cross sell. Where does that go in the in the scenario? Um, like if you look at well, just Fab back in the day and Shoe Dazzle, the way they did their checkouts were were decidedly not single page. I think they were one of the first big companies that came in and said, "No, you can actually put some impediments in the way, and uh, yeah, your conversion rate may go down along the way because you're adding multiple multiple." fields but your AOV or your if you get them to opt into a subscription later on down the, down the road it can actually go up so yep. um, single page fewer uh, entry fields is always better until it isn't mm -hmm. and, and it's often paradoxical what makes it yep. uh, better yeah that makes sense yeah and I think like if you're selling like Casper if you're selling a large item yeah single page checkout especially because I mean I don't know if you're gonna upsell them mm -hmm. obviously try it but when you're talking about low, low low AOV items, being able to increase that cart value and nope. have upsells and cross sells and down sells before the checkout, and then just find the tipping point. So, you know, if you're offering six upsells and you have a massive drop off, maybe offer three and then back it up from there. Well, and the other thing you can do is, um, let's say you are Casper and uh, and someone, some genius in the marketing department says, "Hey, we should be selling sheets and pillow uh, uh, shams and yeah. whatever." And um, so, there's a few ways you can do it. Number one would be, here's the mattress, buy it, single page checkout. Well, your your B in the A B test there may be, well, after they begin the checkout, well, then we're going to try and cross sell them with an interstitial here. Here's pillows, whatever. Um, and then the third way you might do it uh, is after they've already checked out. So they yeah. bought the mattress, add this to your card, and then have, have a ticking time bomb of five minutes or ten minutes or whatever, uh, and then add it there. So run an ABC test on those and let the data be the guide. Uh, those are all three. I don't know which would win. I mean, we could probably vote, and we'd all three have different answers. Yeah. But well, only one would truly win in the data. Yeah, and the second checkout I have here is from Bonobos. And theirs is great on mobile as well. Uh, something unique about theirs is when you add to cart, their cart slides out, and their checkout experience actually lives all on the right side of the page. They don't take you to a new experience. You live right here, you make your account, uh, and then you check out exclusively in this sidebar. It's wow. fantastic. That's fairly yeah. new, is yeah. it not? Yeah, I've, I've not seen this. Um, it doesn't surprise me. I mean, Andy Dunn and and his team for, for years have been innovators here. Uh, we're actually a few minutes away from Bentonville, Arkansas. Walmart actually bought Bonobos for, what, $350 million. Mm -hmm. And um, Andy's just a, a leader, and his team, uh, you say Andy all the time, but his team below him is just as brilliant. Yeah. This is great. I yeah. have not personally this, seen this, this kind of three yeah. tier checkout is is yeah. perfect well and again they have a team that probably ab tested this mm -hmm. uh out the wazoo oh, and they, sure. they know uh this for their customer mm -hmm. actually performs better and it's probably gone through a hundred iterations that look very slightly similar to this as they've perfected it over time yeah you're right i'm just glad he cut his hair well you know i mean <laughs> 
you know, uh, the day I met Andy Dunn, we were speaking on stage in Nashville. It was at uh, the Panda Land yeah. Conference with Sarah Lacey. And uh, we met up after uh, the conference, and we're in this strange honky-tonk in Nashville. And, of course, I was drinking a glass of red wine, and Andy was dressed uh, to the nines. I mean, I, I, unfashionable, and Andy was very fashionable. I spilled a glass of red wine on his all-white head-to-toe outfit, and, you know, it was very, very embarrassing. So, memorable, though. Yeah, very, very memorable, <laughs> yeah, memorable. And I, it probably doesn't call me a friend anymore. So. 